Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting tutorial. Today I'm going to show you step by step how to build your own module, your first module, and publish it to the Aptos DevNet. A module is like a smart contract on EVM compatible blockchain. And yeah, let's get started with the step by step guide. Well, at the end, you will have your on module deploy to the devnet let's start with the very first step is that is to clone this repository and it's not a must to clone it you can just copy the required files and there are just three files the move.toml file that we can find right here and the two files that are inside the source folder so we open the source folder and you can see we have the test file and the hello blockchain.move file the setup wallet is not required for this but i have also included a awesome started list where you can see at the end we have few applications on the aptos mainnet that you can try and you're going to need a wallet to do that so yeah i can remove it from building the hello world so we move to the install app to cri the cri is required because it allows us to build it test it deploy it uh getting elder from the faucet and a lot of other utilities and to get it you need to open uh, this website where we have auto releases and you have to follow the pattern and download the one for your PC. In my case, I have a Mac, so I download the first one. Once it is downloaded, you unzip it and move it to the user local bin folder. So if you're not using a Mac, uh, you can go open this link where you have the official instruction on how to install and download pre-compare binary for macOS, Linux, and windows so once it is installed we can run aptos help and uh, let me run it in the terminal to check that we have installed the cri correctly now let's move to the next step is that it's to set up the ide i choose as you can see visual studio code you can use whatever editor you want and this is optional but highly recommended is to install the move analyzer extension it will enable us with syntax highlighting and other useful uh, things like a typing that is going to that are going to improve our development experience now as we said before uh, we can get started with with just the search folder and the move file and we can remove the dot aptos if you clone the repository because it includes the address and the private key where we are going to deploy the module. So you remove it and with up to init, we create a new one. Let's paste it into the terminal and let wait few seconds after we enter two times because we are going to default it to DevNet and here we have created our first account. So we if we open but after that we have a config jmo uh, with the uh, private key and address then uh if you check to the terminal we can see that uh, it may be funded yes it is funded with one after but uh if you need more you can run the after account fund with faucet then we compile the hello blockchain module we paste it here what it does it it compiled the hello blockchain move and it generated the build folder with the all the necessary file published it to the devnet of now if we, we check the argument that we pass it with the script we have the named addresses that is a list of address mapping that must be translated in order package to be compiled to be stored in the default account and then we also pass it a safe metadata that is required to publish the package we can now test the, the module by running the move test command and we successfully pass it both of the tests that we define it inside the test file now uh, let's go back and let's go to the next step that is to publish it to the devnet so very straightforward we just need to call the appropriate command so in this case we have aptos move publish and we confirm yes and as we can see almost instantly we get the result now if we go to the blockchain 
explorer uh, so we can open up the explorer and then we can search for ourselves that we are the sender so we copy this address and then we open the Aptos explorer and here we paste in the search explorer to find our account now if we go to modules we can find uh, the bait code that we have just deployed and also the abi cool we are almost done the last step is we want to interact with our module and to do it we copy this part contract function what we are doing here is we use the fault address uh, we can see here is the structure of the first argument where we pass in the address we pass in the default address the module id message we can see in the explorer uh, in the abi the name is message and then we call the set message that uh, is one of the both set function in the module that we deployed let's move back to the visual studio code so we executed successfully let's move back to the explorer but this time we go to the resources section and here we can see in the message message holder we change the message to hello blockchain now you can try it again changing the hello blockchain for whatever string you want and then you just have to refresh the aptos explorer and you can see the message change awesome you have just deployed your first module to the aptos blockchain so to learn more this is the awesome list where you can for other tools uh, other tutorial that you can follow the REST API to try the TypeScript SDK and so much more. I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you want to more content like this one. Comment below what you want to see next and I'll see you in the next one.